couple of weeks back, a friend of mine asked me, he said, if you could go back and revisit your youth a little bit, and you had your choice of writing one of two things, what would you choose? An absolutely perfect, perfect in every way, 25 foot wave at Waimea, or an equally perfect, absolutely perfect in every way, 25-year-old blue-eyed blonde from Sweden. <laughs> Well, if I was 25, I would I'd have ridden the wave in the morning, come in, taken a shower, combed my hair, and went for the broad. <laughs> now I either want to kill me. I guess one of my favorite stories is the first time we rode Waimea Bay, and that that took about two years to warm up to that place. We'd be on our way from Palaiva out to Sunset, and uh, we'd see Waimea every once in a while would break, and uh, nobody had the balls to rip their boards off the car and go out and do it. So after a couple of years, we went by one day, and it was just perfect. It wasn't giant, but you know, maybe breaking 20 foot. And so Mike and I, Mike Stang, my buddy, we took our boards off the car and uh, paddled out. And I turned around and looked back and Pat Kern was coming and three or four other guys, I think Mendoz was one of them. And uh, a set came, turned around, spun around, took off and got the living shit hammered out of me on this wave. And, uh, but it was, you know, it was like the first time anybody caught a wave there, and at least in, uh, his, in, in modern day history, maybe some ancient Hawaiian did, I doubt it. But by the end of the day, we were riding the place, and uh, it uh, became another surf spot. And that's kind of the way it goes when you uh, find new spots, you know. And then I also remember when the uh, first day the pipeline was ridden, and uh, uh, my, my friend Phil Edwards went out and uh, made a couple of waves and by the end of the day there was 20 guys in the water getting hammered because we had the old shitty longboards. But anyway, tune in next week, we'll tell you another story. You just didn't listen to a single